I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to find wild American chestnuts in your area using a couple of simple apps. Keep in mind that you need an internet connection while you're in the field for this to work, so you'll need cell phone reception. The three apps you're going to use are iNaturalist, All Trails, and PlantNet, or some plant identifying app. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is open iNaturalist. And I'm using the free accounts on all of these things, so this doesn't require any subscriptions. I'm going to tap the Explore button here, and then I'm going to get, hit the Filter button in the top right and click Search for a Taxon. In the search field, I'm going to type Castanea, or as some people pronounce it, Castania, which is the genus for chestnuts and chinkapins. And in the list that auto-populates at the bottom, I'm going to select American Chestnut, Castanea dentata. I'm going to scroll down and uncheck the Needs ID button so that these are all considered research grade observations. Then I'm going to click Apply Filters. Now I've got a map centered on my location that shows where American chestnuts are. And you can see when I move the map, they, the observations disappear and I have to tap Redo Search in Map Area. Then I can see there are a series of points that show up on the map little green markers, and I can zoom in in an area that has a couple of points. You can tap on one of the observations and it will bring you to the observation data, and you can open the photos of that observation. With the little experience that I have in identifying American chestnut, I can say, yeah, these look like American chestnut. So this one looks like a good option. So the next thing I would do is I would open another app like all trails here I'll show you the app here so when I open all trails and I search nearby like for my current location I can get a similar kind of map to what I just saw zoom into that area and see if there is some recorded trails for that park and there are so this is a good way to to find chestnuts in areas that are that you know are public locations and have hiking trails already that you can access so I'm gonna tap that point in all trails it shows me the maps in there and I'm gonna open the trail for that map. Tap the map and when I get on the map view, I see this start button. And I'm gonna tap that because it'll help me find how to get there. So it says not at the trail yet, which I am not. I tap get directions and it lets me choose what mapping app I wanna use and I'm going to use Google Maps. And that pops open and there you go. Google Maps gives me a map of how to get to the start point of that trail. So. Off I go. Okay, so I made it to my destination using Google Maps, and now I'm going to use all trails to find my way up onto the trails a bit, and then I'm going to switch back to iNaturalist to see if I can navigate to where one of these American chestnut observations are. It looks like I'm about as close as I can get to the observation looking at my own little position dot on the map. Now it's time to start looking around for an American chestnut. You can look at the uh, observation photo in the listing to give you uh, an idea of what you're looking for. For example, this one looks like it's pretty small and shrubby, which is really common for American chestnuts because they primarily exist as stump sprouts that grow up until they get blight and die back again. Well, I didn't manage to find the American chestnut, but it's not surprising because I can look at the app and see that the observation was from about four years ago. And one thing that all American chestnuts have in common is that they are susceptible to blight and blight may have knocked it back already since then. Or I'm just terrible at finding American chestnuts. But I see that there's another observation of an American chestnut in this park. So I'm gonna try for that one, see if I can find it. While I was trying to find my way to this other American chestnut. My eyes were peeled for that leaf shape and I spotted another one in a different spot. This is really exciting for me because I'm new to this and this is my first discovery on my own of an American chestnut in the wild. And here's the little guy right here. So here's a closer look at some of the leaves on this little tree that I found. Some of the identifying characteristics are this sort of breaking wave pattern in the teeth along the edge of the leaf. Another one is that these buds come out at a bit of an angle from the stem at the base of each leaf and they're real pointy, which sort of helps identify them from 
Chinese chestnut, which is probably the most common chestnut you're likely to see in the woods because it has a high blight resistance. If it was a little earlier in the year, I would have seen the stipules that come out of the stem, these little leaf projections that stick out straight sideways. Whereas on the Chinese chestnut, they're much wider and they sort of lay flat against the the bases of the leaves and that's a real identifying factor. Let's uh, double check with PlantNet and see what they think. And when I tap leaf on my photo ID, yep, American Chestnut is the first ID that pops up. The second one is Jinkapin, which is in the same family, and the third is American Beach, which does have a similar leaf shape. So PlantNet agrees with me and I feel pretty confident in saying that I have now found my first American chestnut. But I'm not going to give up yet. I'm going to go still look for that other observation and see if I can find it. Oh, don't forget, if you have an iNaturalist account, you can log your own observations there and help other people find American chestnuts after you. So I followed the map on iNaturalist to this other observation, and I got right on top of the point, and lo and behold, I found this really tiny American chestnut here. But looking around the area, I see another one right over here that's a little bigger. Not much. He's also kind of a little shrubby guy. So the method works. You never know what you're going to find out exploring in the woods. For example, here is an old television next to this tree. Keep in mind that this method will only work where you have mobile phone reception and you can't download the maps for offline use. However, if you go to the iNaturalist website, you can open an observation and save the GPS coordinates and enter them into another app like Gaia GPS or another hiking app where you can save waypoints. And you can use that to help you try to find some new friends in the forest. Anyway, this has been a really fun experiment. Thanks for joining me. I hope you'll give it a try. I hope you'll learn to identify American chestnuts and start finding them on your own out in the wild. Have fun.